Hello, Guthrie, America. This is Steve Gentling, your mayor. I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about some of the things that are happening around our great town. Uh, and there's lots of them, and this is just going to be some of the highlights. Of course, we just recently dedicated the final construction of the I-35 and Noble Corridor, the entry point uh, to our community for many individuals coming in from the north and the east. An over $5 million project that Oklahoma Department of Transportation has just completed. Uh, and so we were really excited about that and of course we're really really excited about the 16 million dollar ODOT uh, program which is going to replace the viaduct uh, as the, one of the main corridors through our community. On the economic development side uh, the Love's Country Store truck stop out on I-35 is continuing to uh, to progress along nicely uh, and is going to uh, bring in a lot, a lot of traffic into our community, a lot of resources uh, through the sales tax into our community. Um, We've got a lot of people. We've got a national uh, retailer that's looking at our community for uh, a site location. So really exciting things. Mercy Healthcare System is investing multiple millions of dollars uh, in a renovation of the operating room at our Mercy Hospital right here in Guthrie. Now obviously with that investment, they're planning on staying here for a long, long time lots happening uh, on the economic development side. Uh, and, and speaking of Mercy, I just want to have a little bit of a plug for them. They had the number one patient satisfaction results in all of the Mercy healthcare system for the last six months. Over 30 facilities throughout a five-state area. Mercy is conducting a community needs assessment, an opportunity for all of the citizens to identify gaps that they see in healthcare services to make our healthcare system serving Guthrie, serving Logan County uh, stronger uh, and more reflective of what the citizens need. Take part in that. Be a, be a part of that. Our uh, EMS uh, services out of our fire department uh, have uh, contracted to go and support our neighbor Crescent. Uh, their uh, EMS uh, system has, uh, has stopped, uh, so we are supporting that. Uh, at, this, at this point uh, on a short-term basis, uh, but uh, just being good neighbors also reflecting our uh, desire uh, to provide health care services not only to our community but to our good neighbors in Crescent. Uh, quality of life. Uh, myself, all the city council, uh, city manager, all of our, all of our city services are, uh, are concerned, uh, focused, on how do we enhance quality of life uh, for the citizens that live here uh, in Guthrie. Uh, some of the challenges, of course, that we face. Did you know that we have over 144 miles of streets in our community that our Public Works employees take care of every day, keep clean, keep the snow off, uh, keep maintained, uh, a, a great service uh, and uh, a very positive part of the quality of life of all of us who live here in Guthrie. I just want to talk a little bit about the importance of volunteers in our community. A, a lot of, a lot of uh, organizations ask for volunteers. Your, your city asks for volunteers. We have 11 boards and commissions and committees that help support and drive uh, our city government. Uh, and there are volunteers in every single one of those boards, committees, or commissions. Uh, we are so blessed to have people that are involved and interested in making all of these uh, boards and commissions and committees work for the betterment of, of all of us citizens. Uh, recently, we had uh, three vacancies on the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I must say we had eight outstanding uh, nominations uh, for volunteers to support uh, those those vacancies. I just want to ask all of you to consider uh, as we have vacancies and you can see vacancies on our City of Guthrie website. Consider being a volunteer uh, in any of these uh, boards or commissions uh, or committees. They really really do an invaluable service to our City of Guthrie and to all of us as citizens uh, of Guthrie. Keep that in mind. Uh, we're entering the holiday season. Just want to do a plug for one of the traditions that we have here in Guthrie, and we're well known across the state and, and actually across the nation uh, for our territorial Christmas programs. Uh, starting uh, November 28th, we have the kickoff 
uh, with the, the, the evening parade. Uh, be there for that kickoff. Whether you're in the parade or, or, or watching it, bring your families, be a part of that. Uh, it's the kickoff to not only our territorial Christmas activities, but also uh, the Victorian Walk, which follows a couple weeks later, and our Victorian Open House that is in that same time frame. Be a part of, part of the tradition of, of Guthrie America. It's a great month. We got a lot of things going. Glad to be a part of it. Hope you are too. Thanks.